Country Market. Today I'm going to be trying to refurbish these little babies. These have quite a bit of sun damage. They've been setting outside. I've washed and cleaned them up. The beaks were broken off and I've replaced them um, by using some air dry clay. And you can see just really damaged. They were sitting on our porch uh, before our move and the sun's just really taken a beating. So I'm gonna use some indoor outdoor paint on them this time. And these were um, bluebirds and they had a lot of red on them. I'm gonna turn them into little robins. It's so rare that you find robins for home decor. So I'm going to turn these into robin, robins and um, uh, sell them on our website. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm using a number 10 flat and I'm going to use uh, some of this folk art multi-surface. Um, it'll go on all different types of things and it's great for all different types of environments, indoor, outdoor, and I'm going to, I may use what's in the lid. Uh, I'm going to paint these black all over and uh, then we'll come back and do um, all the highlighting and the breastplates of the robins uh, in the very end. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna speed up the video so that it's short and it's not so time consuming for the person who wants to watch. So here we go. Okay, we've got our robins um, painted black. And I know um, if you do any research on robins, you'll be able to figure out really quickly there's several species of robins. Um, mine's just gonna be the combination, really, of a bunch of different ones. But I noticed that when you're looking at home decor, I love birds and I buy them all the time. Um, I even sell them on our website, but um, what I really, really, uh, I think the limited amount of species of birds that sold in home decor. Um, so I'm gonna do these just a little different um, so that um, they'll really be a standout and you won't, you'll be going, oh, wow, uh, a robin. Most of the time you see a little blue bird, a little yellow bird, something like that. But we're gonna make these some really beautiful robins. Now, I've got a little bit of paint uh, on my, I'm using a, a glass bottom butter dish that was my mother's. It's pretty chipped up and it's not worth selling or giving away or anything like that. But I use it for paints, I can wash it regularly and paint doesn't stick to it, so I really like it. Um, we're gonna use on the breast of the robin, most, uh, most of the time people say the robin has a red tummy, a red chest, red all over the bottom. And I really believe it's more of a terracotta. So I'm gonna go with more of a terracotta. Uh, on the gray, uh, we're gonna put some gray back here in their feathers. So I'm gonna stick with a, just a, a country gray. <clears throat> this uh, terracotta is a metallic acrylic paint. Um, it's for indoor, outdoor use. Uh, but it's got a metallic to it just so the bird will pick up light. And then and for this one, uh, I'm gonna do the beak on them. Their beak is always really like a mustardy yellow. So I'm gonna use uh, King's Gold for their beak. And it's quick drying, it's a matte finish. Uh, and it also won't need to be uh, that uh, protected. The, the body of the bird would need to be protected with a multi just because 
I think it's super important to keep the the bird from like chipping or fading or that type of thing. So I'm gonna grab one of my little brushes and oh, maybe not this one. I haven't unpacked all of my art supplies, so I haven't really found all of my favorite brushes. Um, so I'm pulling from what I call my least expensive uh, brushes to do work with, but um, they all work you know, relatively well. I'm gonna use some floating medium just to wet the brush without really getting it, you know, super wet. You don't wanna start with a dry brush when you're doing this little detailed work. Um, it tends to make drags in the paint which I don't really like so let's go ahead and do the beak real quick so um, he can start to shine up a little bit and um, we'll go ahead and get going we do want some of the black to come through we don't want him to have a really orange beak or a really yellow beak really because these birds they're constantly eating cleaning their beaks on uh, tree branches so you know their beaks are gonna look fairly fairly worn and it may take several coats for you to get the consistency of the most real realistically looking beak I'm gonna drag uh, a liner brush on each side so that I can get the separation of the beak in really well. Um, but we'll speed the video up here so you don't lose interest. And I'm just putting the beak on really quickly. We'll do the eyes very last because that really what brings the, the bird to life. And um, I like to always save the best for last, and I think that really is important to get him dressed and ready before he sees himself. Okay, all right. Like I said, this will take a few coats. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to some of the gray in the um, feathers so we can get that. It doesn't really matter if I have a little bit of yellow. It's all gonna be uh, really well highlighted um, and we're going to just work on the feathering first I'll just put a little bit of gray in this we want the black to come through so we don't want to really put a lot of sh thick coats of gray on here we want it to to shine all the way through so you can see the black coming through his feathers there. We will seal <clears throat> the top of this with a polycrylic mat so that uh, this It'll be sealed up in the paint. Won't try to come off on you over time. It'll make it just last way longer. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm all right. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some 
Things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago a year ago change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago i've changed for the better this time i thought i would never I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago So I'm going to show you a close up. I need a few more coats on the breast. I've only gotten one on here, but the rest of the robin is pretty much the shading I'm looking for. I'm going to put a brown antiquing wax on these so it will add some brown to the feather tint. But we're going to get the um, breast more of a terracotta color and as you can see these are shaded really quite well and they've got some light gray in them and uh, my paint's not quite dry but it's okay and um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the breast section of it the video is dragging long so I'm gonna I do some of this off camera, but I'll come back and show you at each stage. All right, so let me give you a 
close-up view of these little robins. I'm going to start uh, darkening in the beak. And most robins have a little white streaks through their beard, through the bottom of their, uh, right underneath their beak, little white streaks. I'm going to do those next. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some brown antiquing wax and I'm going to paint the robins really well. And then I'm going to wipe off all of the excess wax. And I want to see what the wax is going to do to the beaks before I try to do some fine tuning on them. Because many times the wax adheres to all the little deviants and it makes it look more realistic than actually a paint would. So I want to see what it's going to look like uh, before I do that. It's hard to imagine these were little bluebirds and uh, changing them sometimes can give them all new life. Um, these would be really beautiful on a bookcase or shelf. Uh, little robins and uh, not sure if they're male or female but I do notice that one tail is longer than the other sometimes that's an indicator but let's get the wax on them and then I'll show you what I'm they just look gonna be like. using some oh, Waverly antiquing wax okay so no special brand. I'm sure any antiquing wax, even a white, might do good. I'm going to do one bird at a time because I really don't uh, know what's going to happen. I'm going to do my best to um, leave this on for just a few minutes. And then we're going to wipe off all of the excess of the bird. And you just want to cover everything. Make sure that your paint was dry. You sure don't want to blend wax with paint. Would not be good. And turn them upside down. Get. them sit there like 10 seconds or so and um, just let it sit there a little bit for the wax to adhere and then I'm going to start wiping off the excess of it um, and you just I just take a regular paper towel and you're going to get um, your paper towel is going to get really dirty, so you're really not going to want to... The longer you leave this on, the more stays and the darker it becomes. So we're going to just rub it really well. And this will really keep the bird sealed up. You wouldn't need to have to put a sealer on him, but you could. Um... This should make him really look sharp. You gotta work it, it doesn't happen instantly. Um, you gotta really work in the grooves where you wanna leave the wax, where you don't wanna leave the wax. See, I rubbed a little bit too hard so his beak, his beak chipped off, but I'll fix it, it's no worries. Sometimes when you put too much pressure, you can, you know, change the makeup of something. But we want to give him a worn look, and we also want to help all the shadows and the toning of 
all of the feathers areas so he looks more realistic. takes on a real bronzy uh, minus his little beat bobo right there he takes on a real bronzy worn look very farmhousey and I hope the camera is able to pick that up and then I'm gonna work on a little bit of his eyes and I can always add a little and a little paint to him. He looks awesome. Looks like a really weathered bird. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the next bird. And uh, I'm just going to paint him up real good. It won't be so quite so hard on his this one's big. Same for this, we're just going to rub. Yeah, if you notice, his beak looks really worn and nice. I'm not sure I need to add anything to that. And uh, it even looks like he's got a little red shading in his wings, which is what I want, because I want these to look as natural as possible. Great job say for myself I hope you get to see these in person really well and um, well not in person but I hope you get to see them as best you can in this camera but um, I'm gonna touch up a little bit to darken those little spots one thing about painting is if you hated this you could totally spray paint them white or any other color and start over it's not necessary that they be perfect um, so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me create these little robins and, um, they're little ceramic robins and they're perfectly, perfectly beautiful and they look super realistic. I think they'll be perfect for a little shelf. So I hope you join me next time. And everybody have a blessed day, and I'll post a photograph of them at the very end. Everybody have a great day. Don't forget, find somebody to bless.